We left our hotel in downtown Portland 25 minutes ago. Yeah. And like, we were instantly into incredible like countryside landscapes. Now on paper, two 30-something-year-old chefs running around picking blackberries may not sound very worthy of being videoed. But watch this. We are Sorted, a combination of foodies and chefs who have been mates for years, looking for game-changing food and travel experiences. Today, our two chefs continue their Oregon Food Challenge adventure as they travel from Portland down to the stunning Oregon coast. They'll be stopping off to win more ingredients on the way to their beautiful oceanfront location where they'll use the ingredients they've collected to face off in the ultimate grill battle. Three, two, one, go! These Come are on. huge! Ow! Well, you've got, you've got all of this space! Oh, whoa, whoa! Whoa! I'm very sorry, that was not what, that was not as intended. Because my shorts are already absolutely ruined, I could put some in my pockets. One minute! Five, four, three, two, one. Stop picking your own. Whew. It was so bad. It was a gentle tap, and he tumbled over his own feet. Tumbled over his own feet. It was a gentle tap. Tumbled over his own feet. But it was cruel. Armed with six punnets of berries, one pair of stained shorts, and one deluded reality, our chefs headed for the weigh-in. Two point two one pounds. Next up. James's collection. 2.62. Oh, yes! With that win, I decided to stay on theme and go for the blackberries. Ben's not getting another ingredient on this whole trip. He's not. And fueled by pent up aggression, but mostly unleaded gas, James and the rest of us headed to the coast to a highly recommended place to see a man about some crabs. We took about five crab rings with us, loaded with fresh rockfish and, uh, and tuna, and we dropped them in five different areas, hoping that, you know, maybe we could find a large population of big male dungies. Dungeness crab is an Oregon delicacy, and in this challenge, Kelly put our chefs to the test in trying to catch some, and he made some very early assumptions. Ben, kind of a pretty boy from the city, you know, he's got a collar on, um, looks like he might not know where the gym is. And then James, a little bit more muscular, quiet, silent assassin type. Um, I was thinking maybe James, you know, might have upper advantage. Uh, the first one I pulled just to kind of show him really maybe how to do a little technique and stuff, barely anything in it. I'm thinking, oh boy, I wonder what's gonna happen next. Then Ben gets up there. You know, maybe a little euphoric, a little frenzied at getting letting the little ones go, but boy, catching the big keepers today, Mr. Evers did well. How did he do that? The resource has been protected pretty well, and so we have the sizing restrictions, and they all have to be males. And I, by, by doing that, the crabs, it takes a while for these things to you know get in place, so it's a good thing that we're letting all the little ones go and all the females. He's holding on! I'm trying to put you back! <laughs> and then here comes James. Oh, uh, wow. Five, that's a good one. That's a good one, yeah. And so it was back to the harbor for Kelly's decision. I really thought maybe we'd have to call first aid or maybe somebody's mom or dad <laughs> <laughs> i nearly got nipped <laughs> here this guy comes and he's we're all doing the bicep thing out here this is a hidden amount of muscle here and it's all inside of here is what i learned today it doesn't matter about everything else it's all in here mr ebers was the winner oh. yes it, it it was a little close oh, awesome oh, okay, do you know what okay that and, was a first Fair. and how could i not choose the dungeness crab we just caught well most of it Got myself a souvenir! And off we went again, but we kept getting distracted. Ever since we got to the coast, we've been driving south, all along one single road, and every, what feels like five minutes, there's another viewpoint, and they're all spectacular. We eventually made it to another massively recommended place from you guys, Tillamook Creamery, a huge working creamery and restaurant. We took the tour. This happens on such a scale. It's almost like you're peering into something from NASA. It's massive. And obviously, hit up the restaurant. Right, what we've got here are 
cheese curds in tempura batter with a ranch and sriracha dip. Mac and cheese. We have an eight cheese pizza. Eight. And a grilled cheese. Oh. I've had fried cheese curds, but not tempura battered curds. And sriracha and ranch are gonna become my new best friends. Straight up the back before I've even tasted anything. That's an amazing pizza. And then you get the cheeses. All eight of them. I'm getting seven. <laughs> the texture is excellent. The cheese is mellow. That is so buttery, it tastes like a croissant. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. So you've taken the tour. We're now going to test what you've picked up. You're gonna buzz in. First one to buzz in gets to answer. If you get that wrong, the question passes to the next person. What are the four ingredients? Ebers. Oh. Milk. Rennet. Salt. And I don't know whether the question was for which cheese, so I'm gonna say culture. I'm gonna to have to let James buzz in because you Can didn't get the four question. ingredients. Three. And two. Nutter, and nutter. Oh! Nutter. Pulled it out of the he bag. Got it. Well done, mate. One point to Cuzza. How many pounds of milk did it take Cuzza? 10 pounds to make one pound of cheese. Correct. How many pounds of milk is delivered to the factory and used by the factory every 24 hours to the nearest 100,000 pounds? I'm gonna say 900,000 pounds. 1.6 million. The answer is 1.6 million pounds. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Tillamook County has a population of around 5,000. Cuzza! 32,000 or something? Incorrect. Uh, 25,000 Ebers. It was at 75,000 cows. Wow! Which equals 15 cows 15, per person. I thought it was five. Oh, I wow. Know. How many breeds of the Tillamook dairy cow can you name? So they use the jersey. Because it's got lots of buttermilk. They use the Holstein because it gives off a huge amount of volume. Cor correct. They also love the Guernsey. Correct. They also love uh, the one from England, which is the milking short horn. Correct. They also have the Swiss variety, which is brown of colour. Correct. And then there is the Scottish one, Aisha. Aisha. Correct. Well done, mate. Very good. How? As I won the challenge overall, I chose a selection of dairy and some smoked hazelnuts. Whereas the guys awarded me an ingredient for my weird brain, so I went for some sour cream. The insane views kept coming, as did your tweets. One in particular suggesting we stop off to visit a tiny ice cream truck that served incredible Tillamook Creamery ice cream. I mean, the sign says you can do single scoop or double scoop. I didn't realize they were both football sized. No. So good. And the Marion Berry pie isn't just blackberry ice cream. It's got like the little bits of the pastry in it, which is a bit like cookie dough, and it's awesome. The girls who served us suggested we ate our ice creams around the corner on the beach, but we weren't expecting this. Wow. That is Proposal Rock. It was breathtaking. However, the wonder was short-lived. No! No! <laughs> This is one of the worst feelings I've ever felt. The final leg of our journey passed some stunning insta-worthy rock formations and a whale. And in what seemed no time at all, we are at our final destination. We've made it. We've got a view, we have two chefs, and we have two kitchens. We have one grill, they have their ingredients, and it's now time for the ultimate chef versus chef grill battle in three, two, one, cook! From the ice cream challenge, I won a selection of fresh fruit. Crabbing gave me crabs, obviously, and at Tillamook, I managed to pick up a point, so I have got some of their sour cream as well. Together, I'm gonna make an incredible sharing platter dish with crab as the hero. Today, I'm making barbecue kielbasa sausage with barbecue fingerling potatoes, a blackberry vinaigrette, and a really mild cheesy sauce. What I won was a selection of charcuterie from Olympia Provisions, loads of blackberries from Columbia Farms, a selection of dairy from Tillamook Creamery, and I won two ingredients there, so I also picked up some smoked hazelnuts. I'm feeling a little bit nervous and unsure of myself, and that's when I'm at my best. 
So, the first thing I did was to make a velouté, which I would add some cheese to later to make a light cheesy sauce. Wait for it. A velouté! Whilst I sliced up some fresh fruit and veg and tossed them in olive oil, salt, pepper, honey and a squeeze of lemon. That crab might be ready. That liquid gold there is what is going to win me this battle. It's crab butter. Uh, it, you literally take a crab, unprepared, and boil it in salted water. And what you get is this liquid. It's the broth, it's the fat, it's all the flavour from the crab. Where would you put crab butter? On toast. While Ben was making toast, I was making blackberry vinaigrette with some fresh herbs, white wine vinegar, and a little sugar. And panning some pate balls mixed with a little of my velouté and some breadcrumbs working. I think it's working. So James beat me in the berry picking challenge, however I won a selection of fruit and I've been told that I can have one, two, three, four, five, six of his berries. <laughs> I've char grilled a couple of jalapenos, I've mushed up those six berries that I was allowed to use, some chopped coriander, I'm going to mix all of that into sour cream and then toss that through the crab, season it and it should be delicious. It's grill time. All right, mate. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, You've been all right in your kitchen. Yeah. My sausage is already cooked, so all I'm doing is getting some char grills lines on there, getting some more flavour into it. My potatoes, I poached in butter, and now I'm just getting even more smokiness into them. I mean, they smell good already, and you've not done much. However, sausage and a barbecue feels a bit obvious. Mate, you have no idea what's coming out here. Ah, oh, it's hot. It's getting there. ultimate grill battle and James does one sausage and a few potatoes. I'm still grilling all of my veg, all of my toasts. He's gone back inside. Two amazing dishes. James, I'm gonna start with you. Cheers. 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 I've never had blackberry and potatoes on the same dish. <laughs> but somehow you've made that work because you made them tart with the lemon juice and the vinaigrette. Yeah. That really works. That char on the outside, that's fantastic. Strong start. Thank you. Well done. Ebers. Cheers. Cheers. The first thing that you get is the freshness of that crab. And we said when we had it on the boat, you don't want to do anything to it. And what I think you managed to do is do something to it, but not take away from the flavor. That chili with it is great. I mean, can I just say, the 48 hours that we've had has been a ridiculous journey with some of the best coastlines that I've seen anywhere in the world. Cheers to that. Incredible food, incredible produce, amazing people. But my winner today it has to be James. Oh. It has to be James. It was this, this close. Congratulations, mate. Thanks, mate. But congratulations to you also. The only thing that we've got left to do, eat the rest of this, have a few beers, sit and watch the sunset. Oh, it's not bad, is it? <laughs> it's not bad at all. <laughs>